This message is one that reached deep inside of me when I was a subscriber to the original Your Higher Self channel. It is one of the messages that made me walk away from seeking and instead brought me to understanding something that continuously played in my head. There is nothing new under the sun. To those of you who feel lost in your seeking, listen to this message closely. This is a short message and straight to the point. Have you ever heard the saying, too much of a good thing can be a bad thing? Well, this definitely can apply to knowledge as well, especially spiritual knowledge. There was a point in time when all I did was consume knowledge, book after book, video after video. I was so driven to discover what I truly was and had gotten glimpses of it over time, so I knew it was truth. I was trying to hard to find that one piece of information that could get me back to that feeling. But here's the thing about consuming so much of this knowledge. When you are constantly seeking, the mind will begin creating what this awakening is supposed to look like or feel like. It creates a false impression of awakening, and this can hold you back from actually realizing what you seek for. It's funny because a lot of us will hear something so insightful and think, Oh, I got it now. This is what I have been looking for. But then we continue seeking. What you are seeking for cannot be found through understanding. Does the understanding help? Yes, it can. But the understanding of it isn't it. There is an undeniable experience of this truth that can only be experienced. It's actually even beyond experience because experience exists within it. There was a point where I had all the knowledge of this, but my experience was not matching what I knew. It's because I thought I wasn't already what I was looking for. I consumed so much knowledge that my mind refused to believe that this was it. My mind made it appear as if I'm working towards something, as if I'm going to find it in the future. But it's here. It's here because it's already what you are. It's called self-realization. It's a realization of yourself, what you truly are. So you have to realize, regardless of how the body feels or what thoughts are here right now, this is already what you are in this moment. It's not like you are becoming this consciousness. That's why it's hard to find because the one seeking is what you are looking for. I like to say it's as if you have glasses on your face and you are looking for your glasses. So what do you do, I recommend, instead of watching these videos and reading these books to try to gain something from them? Like knowledge, listen to them in presence. Don't believe anything you are hearing, and allow these words to point you to something in your direct experience. See if you can realize the experience that these words are pointing to. You don't need to understand any of this because it's not a mental thing. Ego believes it will wake up. The character that you believe yourself to be believes it will wake up but it can't because it doesn't actually exist. There is no body here to awaken. The only thing here is God, consciousness, awareness. It will be God realizing it's God, not a character realizing it's God. But even saying that could throw you off because God isn't your identity. You have no identity. God is just the label. The nature of what you are is ultimately nothing. You can't see it, you can't imagine it, you can't create it, you can't locate it. But you can be it because you already are it. It's nothing, but this nothing is also everything. And when the mind hears this, it may try to understand what that means. 
It may try to picture what that is, but it can't know. The mind doesn't know you, but you know the mind. What you are has no form, but it can take form. Look around, you are everywhere. What you are looking for is this. Stop searching for a specific feeling. Whatever your experience is, this is it. This is God. You are the only thing here. There truly is no journey. There truly is no path, because there is nowhere to go. It's here. If you can accept that what you are looking for is already here, that sense of lack can begin falling away. Seeking will begin falling away. Just be careful and aware of how many times you may run to the mind to try to find the truth because it's not there. The mind can point you, but don't believe in anything the mind says. Even when it says, I am not the body, don't believe it. See if you can realize it through experience. Have no beliefs at all. Don't believe you are the body and don't believe you aren't. Drop all beliefs. Self-realization kind of works backwards because we gain all this knowledge to come to the self-realization that there truly is nothing new under the sun but it's actually the release of everything we know that will help you realize what you truly are. This journey to self-realization is like peeling away layers of an onion. Each belief, each piece of knowledge we've accumulated is just another layer that needs to be shed. It's a paradox, really. We spend our lives collecting these layers, thinking they define us, when in fact, they obscure the true self. As you begin to let go, you'll find moments of profound clarity. These are the glimpses of your true nature, free from the constraints of belief and knowledge. In these moments, there's a sense of peace, a feeling of coming home to something timeless and unchanging. Remember, it's not about gaining new knowledge or adopting new beliefs. It's about unlearning, letting go, and simply being. In this state of pure being, we come to realize that we are not the mind, not the body, but something far more profound. We are the awareness that observes all, the consciousness that experiences life in its fullness. So with this, search yourself and let go of the state of ignorance. Know nothing, accept nothing, and just be. I love you all. Please think about this until next time.